have just arrived to the River Tree House here in upstate New York, pretty close to the Adirondack Mountains. It's early October, and to be honest, I wasn't sure if the colors would be fully fall yet, but I am pleasantly surprised. There are oranges and reds and yellows everywhere. Not to sound like a geek, but it is breathtaking. And the sunlight, even though it's kind of in my eyes right now, is hitting these trees so beautifully. It feels like fall here, except for the fact that it's 80 degrees. <laughs> I'm practically sweating, I'm wearing shorts, but the leaves are orange and that's all that really matters. The cabin is actually very small, but it feels so big and open because of all the windows. It kind of has this cabin treehouse feel. It has the traditional cabin look with the walls and the wood, but it feels like we're up in the trees because we're on the side of a cliff and the view is right in the treetops. It's really awesome. In a second, I'm gonna take y'all down to the river. There's a nice pathway which leads to the waterfront where there's a fire pit and chairs. But before that, I gotta get the rest of the stuff out of my car and get settled in a little bit. I just saw two deer in the woods. It looked like a male and a female because one had antlers. This is dinner. I'm trying one of these for the first time. Adventure meals. I got my butane and my camping cooking set up, so I'm excited to see how that tastes, but let's go down to the water now. really nice and really hot this ladybug just landed on me I think it crashed into me but I'm not sure if it's still on me it was an old one too wow I really want to jump in the water it's just the bottom looks a little bit murky on the sides and I don't I don't love that I'm gonna hold on that for now oh wow there's a lot of ladybugs down here I see them all flying around isn't that good luck or something oh there's another one There are two leaf sounds that I really love about fall. Actually, there's three leaf sounds that I really love about fall. Number one, the more obvious one of the leaves crunching underneath your feet when you walk. Classic fall sound. A second fall sound is the dried leaves rustling in the wind. When it's windy on a fall day, there's a different sound between the kind of dried up dying leaves from the alive leaves that you hear in the spring and the summer. So rustling of dead leaves is number two. And number three is the sound of a leaf falling and hitting the ground. You have to be in a really quiet area like this, but when you hear it, it's just so serene. It is fall, but it is 80 degrees. I was thinking about having a fire tonight, but I might do it tomorrow night instead. It's supposed to be a little bit cooler and cloudy, so I'm gonna see how that goes. Right now, I'm gonna head back up to the treehouse, get my drone out. Ooh, there's another ladybug. Hey, bud. Ooh, wow, this one's a big one. That's so cool. All right, I'm gonna leave these ladybugs alone, head back up to the treehouse, and then I'm gonna make dinner.
Now I wait for it to cook, stir carefully and close zipper, wait five minutes, stir again, reseal, then let stand for four minutes. So quiet here, you can hear everything. You can hear animals in the woods, see squirrels and birds and the trees above. It really does feel like a tree house. It's, it's a nice place. Ha, ah, ah. ha, this is so good. Wow, I was not, not expecting that at all. Wait, this is lit. There's some lights turning on, but I'm waiting for the string of lights. It's happening. flowing so slowly as if it's just waking up for the morning because so much light is let into the cabin I woke up early with the sunrise this morning and I just had to come down to the river it is peak fall here in the Adirondacks leaves are falling like crazy <laughs> So I was just flying my drone and my remote disconnected from the drone so I need to go find it. Thank goodness it has tracking so I can see on the app where my drone is so I gotta go drive to it and hopefully it's just flying there still. Okay it says it's somewhere over here through the woods and by the river. This is actually really creepy. It's a graveyard from 1861. Okay, my drone is moving. It just reconnected. It's flying back to the cabin. That's a relief. <laughs> I thought it had crashed into like the water or something. I really just stumbled upon this cemetery from 1861. This is like pre-Civil War. All right, that's enough spookiness for me. Let's go get my drone. Yes, oh my God. It landed on its own while I was over there looking for it. I was so nervous for a second. I thought I had lost my drone, but we're all good. Pretty empty. I'm maybe about a quarter of the way there. Just started. A lot of people tell me they don't want to hike alone because they're scared of something going wrong or 
you know, just being alone in nature is a little bit scary. For me, it's just something I grew up with, so maybe I don't think about those fears enough. Oh, this is a little muddy. I'm so stupid and I wore my gym shoes. I'm trying to not ruin them and it doesn't help that they're white. abandoned. All right, we made it up here. Time to go up. I'm not one to be afraid of heights, but this is a little bit nerve-wracking. Holy shit. This view is incredible. Well, it's locked. amazing and terrifying all at the same time. It's windy up here, man. The view from the top is always worth it. Remember that. Now for the scary part of going down. Oh man, so cool up there. It's just hard to be comfortable and spend a lot of time when the wind is blowing so hard and it's rickety a little bit. 